welcome to you your sugu sap psd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sap psd today we are discussing about official document number nothing but a odn what is the purpose of that how we can do the configuration we will see till now i uploaded many videos in sporana like a difference between ec and sporana activate methodology in sporana bp configuration in sporana and credit management in sporana okay now official document next class i'm going to uh, cover settlement management brf plus okay that small 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 changes uh, uh, pricing tables and status tables already i covered difference between and sp4 and there i covered okay you can see those videos to get the knowledge on sap sd s4 ana for interview purpose and for your career growth okay we'll see the today's class official document number what is the purpose of that official document number is used to the used for documents such as invoices that are issued to the customers vendor invoices posting and also presented to the tax authorities okay after gst introduced okay for uh, gst filing purpose we are going to use this official document numbers now we will see the configuration we have total six document uh, six configuration steps is there to achieve this process okay odn configuration so we will see the step by step how we can do that the first step is we need to maintain document class this is the table maintenance table in sm32 t code we, in this table we need to enter under this table we need to maintain data like this okay we'll copy that table we'll go to the t code sm30 paste here click on edit enter your country go to new entries yes to odn document class okay next step assign okay this is the next step what is the next step the same same sm30 enter this table maintain this data same uh, mm point of view sd point of view same uh, same the uh, the config is the same okay so here what we are doing we are going to new entries we are entering our billing type document type and class what are we created s2 we created right the s2 class and c okay this we need to maintain the data okay mm point of view they will enter their miro documents and fi point of view their documents so Uh, for all the people the config is the same save what is the third step what is the third step number group this is the table for number group again go to sm30 same sm30 paste the table click on edit go to new entries sm02 this is the odn number group save so before uh, before activate this uh, configuration we will run the one process we will run the one normal process we will see how it will behave before configuration after configuration how it will behave we will see the difference now okay so before configuration we will create an order delivery invoice we will see the difference okay now i am doing delivery for the sale order now i'm creating invoice so we'll see the difference between odn configuration and normal the process if you go to vf02 go to a header if you see the here system given same invoice number right if you go to accounting tab same uh, the reference number as same invoice number <coughs> okay now we'll do the configuration how many steps is complete three steps completed right the fourth step number range this is the t code this is the object name this object name you can copy go to the t code snro go to the t code slash n snro object name you can give here 
okay click on change sorry uh, this one table interval editing uh, number range what is our number range sm02 right sm02 number number we group number group we created right that one intervals so i'm taking z2 z3 whatever is that number range so year 2023 from from so we'll take seven eight seven series save okay number range we maintained number range we maintained okay four steps is completed what the fifth step what the fifth step for the billing type we need to assign document type rv for billing type we need to assign document type rv go to vofa go to your billing type sm in here we need to assign document type rv save if if it is already it is there no worries if it is not there we need to assign next step assign number uh, na company uh, assign number range to company code and company code and group number group okay same go to sm30 paste the table there click on edit go to new entries what is the company code sm10 and uh, what is the next business place what is the business place same sm10 only document class what is our document class s2 and uh, date it is valid from this date to this date okay prefix nothing but a before number you want any letters we can give for example if i give if i give y u so before number uh, we given 87 series right before 87 y u 87 like this will come okay number group what is our number group sm 0 to sm 0 to what is the number range z 3 what is the number range z 3 okay save six steps is completed right you can note down the configuration steps and tables uh, this is the table for assign the number range to business place company code number group and document class rv document type need to assign to billing type and this is the table this is the object name to maintain the number range snro is the t code for number range this is the table to create the to maintain the number group okay this is the table to assign the billing type to document type and number group sorry document class this is the table for document class this is six steps we need to do for official document number generation okay now we will create one order delivery invoice we will see the difference now i am creating one order Now I am creating one order. Now I am doing delivery. Payment terms. Income terms is missing. Now we will see the result. How it. What is the difference between before body and after body. Now do the delivery. Next class I am going to cover. Settlement management in Asporana. Now I am creating invoice. Save. Okay. Now go to change mode of invoice. Go to header. See. This is only we assign the number right. So before that prefix y u k. Okay. If you go to accounting document. So previously invoice number came right, but instead of invoice number, now we are getting ODN number. Okay, we are getting ODN number. Okay, this is the configuration for official document number. 
next class i'm going to cover settlement management and a bear of plus variant configuration like this many concepts is there everything i'm going to cover one by one okay you can watch the more videos and continuously you can see the updates for more videos to get the more information on sap sd once again thank you all for watching the videos please subscribe channel for more videos and refer to your friends thank you all